Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Tammy here with Guess Who? Yes, we've got River Kendall here. He's part of the Rainbow High collection. He comes in this really cool box that obviously was created with collectors in mind because you can see not only the doll really well, but also his other his clothing that he comes with and accessories. Now, I've been seeing a lot of Rainbow High dolls on various YouTube doll channels and I've been hesitant to jump into the rainbow doll pool, but when I saw this guy, uh, that was it. I was like, okay, I got to check these dolls out. They, they, To me, they give me a little bit of a Blythe vibe because of the uh, size of the dolls. And so we'll see what he looks like with one of my dolls at the end. So hang on, let me get him out of this box. I'll be back. I'm not going to show me taking him out completely because that would take forever. But I'm going to take him out, we'll take a look, and then like I said, hold on to the end of the video and we can see what he looks like with one of my Blythe dollies. Alright, BRB. Alright, midway through getting him out of here, I just thought it was interesting. So I was able to just um, take some of the tape off of the top, open the top, and slide him out. So that's pretty cool. That was pretty easy. Now, of course, i got to get him out of this. And also, the accessories are in these little box things so um, I just popped those out and now I'm just gonna take some tape off here and get these out they don't seem packed. I think you can just pop them out yeah they can just pop those out all right huh interesting so they so they even have there's kind of a lot of plastic here I'm gonna say I wish there wasn't quite so much I don't really think it needs this much plastic because there's even plastic inside the socks to make them stand up I mean that looks cool but really is that necessary folks but yeah, these are nice. Oh, these are actually pretty well made. All right, so I'll be back. Like I said, um, don't want to make this video too long because we want to have more time to look at him. So I'm going to get him out of this and get the rest of his clothing out. Be right back. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it wasn't um, as bad. For a minute there, I was thinking that the people that packaged these dolls went to the uh, Takara School of uh, Blythe doll packaging. But not too bad. My only real beef is... I don't get why, I don't know if you can see these, these are those little plastic um, ties that they always hang all the clothing with. Barbies do that sometimes. This puts holes in, in clothing, people, <laughs> okay? So uh, yeah, you have to be so careful. Even when you're careful, you can, you can get holes. I had a heck of a time getting this out. And I ended up with a little bit of a snag there, so really no reason to tie stuff in this much people <laughs> you'll know but anywho all right so oh he has this uh, i didn't even notice this in the box until i was taking him out and he has a little comb so i guess um he, we are meant to comb his hair so he has this cool little jacket this is a faux zipper um i'm not sure what these things are for but yeah this zipper doesn't really work but it's very very cute it's got rb on it and these shorts are cute. They have a little elastic and a little faux. Oh, real pockets. No, nope, real pockets. That's Well, not real pockets. They're holes. So if I put my finger in here, yeah. But they look really good. And then, of course, these adorable shoes and socks like I just showed you a few minutes ago. But let's look at this guy. He's pretty, pretty hefty. He's a good, he's a good weight. This is a uh, plastic, this hat. I wonder, it should just come off, I'm thinking, right? Let me see. Because if we're going to comb his hair, oh, you should be able to take his hat off. Yep, hat comes off. Oh, wow. There's a hole in his head. <laughs> There's a hole in the dude's head for his hat. That's why it felt like it was so tight, because there's a peg. I don't know if you can, can you see that? A little peg there it's black so there maybe you can see that there's a peg so <laughs> that's odd poor duck guy's got a hole in his head uh his hair is kind of stiff in places and soft in places and i do know you're um it's okay to supposedly wash their hair and stuff like that um and he's got this shaved part here kind of cool this, this head moves all the way around that's a little weird Rainbow high jacket. Let's see how does this just come off? 
I actually went to a school whose initials were R, um, RH. So when I saw that, I was like, whoa, is that from my high school? It's rough on the inside, so obviously the clothing isn't like super intense quality, but not bad. It's very cute, especially considering the price of the doll. I should say they were pretty reasonably priced. And now, I don't know why not finish these this off. I mean, I guess that's fashion because he is got these ripped jeans and stuff. And he's got more tennis shoes, so really he's got two pairs of tennies. And, let's see, he's pretty articulate. Pretty beat, pretty beefed up, man. Look at those muscles. Woo! Boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> so... I like his face up, so he's got some real eyelashes. You know, the eyes are not sleepy eyes, like if you turn them over, they don't move or anything like that. Um, he's got a natural kind of face up, I think, pretty blue eyes. I'm assuming these just, this is really, is this, can this come off? Oh, hmm. He's got these jeans. I mean, obviously, if there's extra clothes here, you're meant to be able to, um, change his clothes so he's pretty articulate oh look at he's got a six-pack ab he's got six-pack abs guys <laughs> um oh here's some of this plastic that was around him yeah there's a lot uh i think there's a little bit too much packaging uh going on with this guy see here's another one of those ties so i have to remove that with very delicately it's stitched together but um all right we'll leave him in his outfit for now and let's see what he looks like next to a Blythe doll all right so this is sunshine holiday she is a stock Takara doll neo size um, so she is she's a tad taller than him I am um, like not a ton but a little bit taller She's, obviously her head's way bigger. <laughs> um, I'm going to set these up like standing up next to each other. And we'll take a look at them together that way. Yeah. All right, hold on. All right, we've got River standing next to Sunshine Holiday. Woo-woo, they're holding hands. Something might be happening here, guys. She's not exactly sure though, but she thinks he's a little bit cute. What do you guys think? How do you like this doll next to this doll? As far as boy dolls, do you think he has some possibilities with the Neo Blythes? Is it a no-go? Tell me what you think. All right, I'm gonna take another closer look at him before I let you guys go do a little review Let's check out that hair and the hole in his head. So let's take a look at his hair. Um, you can cover up the hole with his hair, so that's a good thing. Um, this, I have not wet the hair at, at all, but you can see like I would probably need to do that because this comb doesn't really work. It's just too goopy. But like I said, I know a lot of, well, maybe I can get it a little bit, but I don't want to rip it out. So I'll probably wet that and see what happens with that. Um, I was looking at his body and I noticed, where was it? Like right, I don't know if you can see it right here. There's like a little bit of an unfinished bit to his arm. Um, that's not a huge deal to clean up. And he's, you know, he's articulate but he's a little on the stiff side still to me. Um, but not, again, considering the price of these dolls. Now, some of these dolls are getting expensive, I will say. Some of them are harder ones to find. I've noticed have jumped up in price quite a bit. I got him off of Amazon, and I'm looking at a few other of the uh, Rainbow High dolls over there. I, I'm not going out shopping still. I'm still shopping online for the most part until I get my vaccine and until my husband is vaccinated. So, um, that's, I have to shop online, but if you know of any good places to get decent price on the Rainbow High dolls, put them in the comments below. But 
yeah, I like him. I do like him. He makes me curious about maybe getting a few other Rainbow High dolls. I wasn't sure what I was... I wasn't sure what my thoughts were going to be on him. Ooh, look at that. Holy cow. <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't sure what my thoughts were going to be on him until I got him. But, yeah, I think for the price, he's a cute doll, and I like the size. That's a good size. I like it with my Blythe dolls, and I think he would look cute with some other dolls that I'm that I have as well. So... Yeah, so that's my super quick, just out of the box review. You'll probably see this guy around in the future. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending a little dolly time with me today. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications of future videos. And let me know what you guys think about this video and any others you would like to see on my channel in the comments below. Have a wonderful dolly day. Bye-bye.